So we're talking more motorsport here on Highland and, and what was a fantastic weekend for uh, the Donegal Rally Men in Wales last week. Uh, we've already heard from Eamon Kelly and also Kyle McBride. Next up, from Mount Charles, Joseph Kelly. Joseph, you're welcome to the, to the studios of Highland. Thanks, Ossie. Uh Celtic Trophy winner uh, on the uh, the European Rally Trophy. Uh, brilliant achievement. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's good to get a championship like that. I suppose it's not every day you get something. So, yeah, yeah glad, glad to come home out of Wales with something. Yeah. Listen, you're only a young man. How, how long have you been at this rallying? In 2019, I started. So, yeah. Not at it quite long, I suppose, but take two years out of it for COVID. And, yeah, there's, there's not a, there hasn't been too many months around. No, it's not, not, not. It's been about a year or two yeah, there yeah. since it got Well, I suppose that, that then shows just how much effort you put in over the course of the last year to, to win this Celtic trophy. Uh, not just me. There's a lot of people behind the scenes, you know, as well. They put in an awful lot of work to it and getting cars ready and getting booking and stuff. And, you know, there's, it's not just as simple as turning up. Like. Yeah. Uh, what car are you driving at the moment? Is the Peugeot the last Peugeot, year? Uh, it's the Peugeot again. The Peugeot, Peugeot, Peugeot Rally yeah. Ford Peugeot, yeah. It's a great week car, so. We're happy enough with it. Yeah, and man and machine working in tandem. I uh, two men and machine running there, sitting on me from our man at the minute too. He's right. two of us are doing a good job and we're gelling well in the car. Yeah, has Ronan won the co-driver side of the, the Ro- Celtic Trophy? No, he hasn't actually. Um, I don't know what way the stands is with the co-drivers. Right. I think it could be uh, Grace O'Brien. I think has won that. But... Okay. And is, is there still a couple of rounds left? Like no, this? there's Kara Diggy in there was the last round. Right, there was okay. four rounds in total. Uh, I think three of them were in Ireland, one in the Isle of Man and mm. one in Wales, yeah. or five rounds. Right. So. What was your performances like through each each round? Um, ah, we had a good enough good enough start of the year. Started in the circuit of Ireland, and we had we just kept steady. You know, we, we didn't actually win around it all year, but steady progress all years kept us going third, second, and third places. So yeah, we're happy enough with that. Were you expecting to win it this year? Was that what you were you know, at the start of the year when uh, you were going to it? To be honest with you, we we started out of the year doing the Irish Tarmac Championship, and a lot of the rounds tie in together. There might be. Like Donegal here's around of it, and mm. there's five or six rallies, you know, the around the country. They think they all tie into it, and uh, we we came out of Ulster two three weeks ago now, you know, and we said we didn't we didn't get the Irish Tarmac Championship, but we said we're in a chance with this if we go to Cardiff again. Mm. So we we went and we ended up coming home with it. So. Yeah. Uh, what was your performance like in Donegal this year? Donegal was uh, it's. On the Friday in Donegal, we were actually very sluggish in the morning time, mm. on, just to get wakened up and the stages in the morning were they were quite greasy and wet and that. But uh, yeah, it set us back for we had what we got going then again. Just enjoyed it. It was my first time doing it and right. loved every second of it. Is that one you want to win? Uh, well, opportunity down the line, down, down, down the line, down, down the line now. Hopefully, if the opportunity arises, yeah. Yeah. What what is what do you want to what what do you want out of motorsport? Um, I, I just like I like to push out like it's. Obviously, it's great to get the opportunity to do it so young and, you know, to get these opportunities to go away across the water and stuff. Um, listen, if we can just keep logging away the way we're going at the minute, hopefully it, it mightn't turn out too bad. Yeah, we've seen the likes of Kyle winning the, the Academy Trophy and Eamon as well taking the Junior British Rally Championship. Is that the next step, step uh, up for you? Yeah, it? hopefully we're, we're going to evaluate now in the next couple of weeks what to do next year. We'll probably do the harvest just yeah. to, to wind the year off and... We'll evaluate next year then where to go. Obviously, the two lads have done very well all year over in, in the UK as mm-hmm. well, Eamon and Kyle, so fair play to them. Yeah, it's a big challenge over there. It's a different sort of challenge. Uh, it's mixed surface. It's, it's not like Ireland here. It's, it's all tarmac. We, uh, last year during COVID, we we went over there for a couple of rallies and did this, you know, the bit of gravel, a bit of tar. And, mm-hmm. you know, we thought it was, it was a really good championship. Um, definitely a different challenge to here with the gravel involved and you're swapping cars and changing and it's it's a great challenge and hopefully we'll get the chance to do it again yeah. do you prefer the tarmac but buddy i don't know what i'd say yeah. it's I, I do like both the gravel is good fun mm. and the, but the tarmac too at home especially here it's it's, it's on our doorstep like it's the great stages so yeah uh, see Eamon's won a round in a in a rally two car in the world championship that's right yeah uh, that'd be, that'd be that'd nice down nice, the line that's, it? yeah that's that'll be a that's obviously great for Eamon to get it it'll be a lovely mm. It'll be a lovely prize, in fairness. Yeah. Who was your heroes just finally then, Joe? My heroes? Uh, I suppose a lot of the local boys, that would have, obviously Manus would have been there too, you mm. know, would have known him quite well and would have been out testing with him and stuff. And the likes of Donna as well, Eamon's father, and just a lot of the local boys, you know, yeah. that would, I would have had an opportunity to be around and see what they were doing. And it's nice now to be able to maybe come up the ranks and get to where they were maybe. Yeah. Ask the two boys where they would like to be in five, ten years' time in the motorsport career. Where would you like to be, Joe? Jesus, it's uh, that's a tough one. Um, let's still on the road, anyway. Still on the road, anyway. Still in one piece. Um, listen, it'd be nice to be. It'd be nice to be 
moving up in the ranks, maybe yeah. going to European levels and that. But listen, we'll take it one year at a time and see yeah. how it goes. Okay. Well, listen, for, congratulations again on your success in the in, in the Celtic Trophy. Very much deserved. And all we can do is wish you all the best in, in the future in your, your motorsport career. Thank you, Ashley.